In the middle of the pandemic in 2020, I took off on an adventure of my lifetime. For the next five months, I traveled across America, from Tennessee to Sedona to Oregon, then to Florida to New England. I had seen so many beautiful and different places. So what does 2021 hold for me next? So why don't you just stick around and take some more adventures with me to the deep south, like Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, and Tennessee to find out. Father's Day to all the fathers out there. <laughs> That's what day I'm recording this anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a night of sleep. Uh, it's after 10.30 now. I don't sleep that late. I must have needed it. Um, even going to bed a little bit later than I normally did do. There was a lot of racket out there. I actually thought about leaving. And I haven't done that yet, so... But, no, it's just a lot of people basically um, 
they just kept going in and out of the freaking car. And it was the same group of people. I think it was a bunch of guys drinking. Uh, maybe it's a bunch of fathers and they needed a break. But um, they were a bunch of fathers, I mean, a bunch of kids. No. Bunch of people that just kept going in and out of their car because every time the one same one leaves, he will come back and he had alcohol earlier. And then he leaves again, came back and he had another group of person with them. Came left again, again, another person. So it was just, it was like going on like that for like two hours. And I was like, should I just leave? <laughs> this is not as peaceful as I thought it would be. But I didn't, I stick it out and everybody calmed down, I guess. Maybe they were too drunk to drive. <laughs> but anyway, um, so now I'm just getting up and it's hot. It's the only thing, only thing that woke me up, honestly. Um, I have my freaking fans all the way around, but hang on, hang on I'll show you. That just fell. Then you got one fan, two fan, and number three. There it is. As you can see, all my window shades are up and everything, of course, but do you see? I do see how bad it is with the light coming through. Besides that one, that one's really bad right now. But I really need to get them redone so yes they're not really helpful I mean to an extent they are but once the Sun comes up it's really not that cool anymore bad enough that most of these nights are, are in the mid 70s for me and as much as you think that's cool at night not in a hot box of a car so I've already decided I'm not doing summers, stream summers, in the car anymore without doing this with a van that has AC or whatever I would have to do with a van. This is not working. So if I don't have my van by winter this year, um, I won't be doing winter either. Well, two months out of the winter, two months out of the summer, I decided not to do this because they're the stream. Because, of course, as we both know, um, the winter, it comes and goes, right? So, depending on where you're at, I mean, I could be in the freaking desert like I did last summer. And it was like 30, 40 degrees, even in the summer. But I don't know where I'm going to be next year, you know what I'm saying? So, I need to be prepared for everything, right? So, anyway, that's just my thing. I've been thinking about a lot since I've been on here. Um, the south is really good for the winter, so I'll probably be doing that instead. And then the, the northwest, um, specifically northwest is what I really want. Pacific northwest. Um, maybe for the summer, because even in the, at night, I could handle, you know, I could figure something out. But this year wasn't, I didn't feel comfortable to go that far knowing with what's going on in the world so I just held off stayed in the south and suffer with the heat um well I will not be doing that next year if it if this is continuing where it is then I may end up holding off on traveling for a little bit and just get myself a job somewhere at this point because when I play in all this it was not during a pandemic it was not during lockdowns it was not during this crap that we're going through now. This is not fun for me. And also, I'm, I'm realizing that a lot, actually, that most of the stuff I'm going to have to redo anyway. Last year's stuff is because of the closures, you know. And then I realized this time around that stuff I wanted to do here in Charleston alone, there's so much to do. I don't have the time. What's one? But two... There's stuff that actually costs a lot more money than I have currently right now. So when I do all this stuff, like even the tourist traps, I'm okay with doing that. But I don't have the money for that extra right now. I've got too many bills that I'm still trying to figure out. You know, and I'm behind on crap like that. Once everything gets caught up and 
um, I'm normal again, then I'll think about it and reconsider where I'm going to go. For now, I'm doing all the free stuff. I'm doing nature, which is what I like anyway. I'm doing, you know, just walking around, driving around. That is one thing that I am thankful for, that these places that I'm going to is mostly just driving around and just enjoying the sights and the city and everywhere I go, you know. And uh, Charleston is definitely a place I want to come back to. So I think I'll probably stay a couple of weeks, actually, when I do. So I want to make sure I have the time and the money and the energy to put into it because it deserves it. Charleston is beautiful. I see why a lot of people, my friends especially, that told me to get here. <laughs> anyway, so I'm up for now. I don't know what I'm doing. I was actually planning on staying in my car today and make it a lazy day. It's Sunday, it's Father's Day, but mostly because it was supposed to be rainy all day. So I woke up thinking, oh, I'm going to get some rain in. No big deal. Maybe it'll cool off. Because um, it did rain last night a little bit. It's not raining. And now it's predicting that until later, which that means I won't be able to work tonight, which is I already expected, but I was hoping to get a couple hours in. But that's not happening. If it's light rain, I'll deal with it. I have no problem with that. But this one is predicting a storm, and I'm not doing that. I'm not working at Domino's now where I have to go in the rain and stuff like that. I can actually say no, and that's what I'm doing. I'm saying no. So, um, because this is, you know, it's me. It's up to me. So, luckily I don't have to worry about, you know, expecting to need the money today. Well, I do. I always need money. But I'm saying, like, I can live without not working for one day this time. So, I may end up doing that. So, for right now, I don't know what I'm doing since I just got up. Like I said, I was planning on just sticking in my car. I was going to go to, like, a Publix parking lot. So, I have my food there and my bathroom there. So, even in the middle of a pouring rain, I could still get out. I just won't drive in it. So, I thought about doing that. Put all my shades up and hang out there. Which I think I might still do. So I don't know what I'm doing right now. Now that I'm up and there is no rain. Um, I'm going to see maybe there's a park or something around here. Maybe. I don't know. I did the pier yesterday. So that was enough. But anyway. I'm going to get my butt up and get going right now. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I spent Christmas 2020 with my family. Still under the pandemic. I decided to stay a while but still took some mini trips around my home state. In the summer, I decided to get a job since I'll be here for a while. I met some new friends and hung out with some old ones. I changed my hairstyle quite a bit. I liked it getting shorter and shorter. I even went to my high school reunion, but I miss my family greatly. I needed some much needed bonding time with them. We did so many family gatherings and holidays, and I didn't realize how much I really missed it. It's been almost two years now, and I'm loving it. I have a new appreciation for my home state and fell in love with it again. But I am still going traveling every chance I get.